Welcome to the Freeland Spotlight Talks for YouTube. Before we begin, I encourage you to use these videos interactively. When you are prompted to observe, pause the video and look carefully. When the educator asks a question, feel free to pause the video again and discuss your observations and ideas, making sure to address what you see that makes you say that. Enjoy. Let's first take some time to carefully observe this photograph. This is Silencio Conoreo, taken by Colombian photographer Juan Manuel Echeverria in 2011. Choose one corner of the photograph to start with and let your eyes wander around the edges, slowly traveling to the center. What is the first word that comes to mind when you see this image? What are some details you notice during your close observation? Feel free to pause the video here and write down your thoughts or share them with someone else if you're watching together. What do you notice about the way the scene is framed in this photograph? What do you notice about the lighting? What stands out to me is the stark white crack in the center of the image. Its brightness and jagged, uneven edges contrast with the dark, rectangular blackboard it bisects, or cuts in half. I notice the muted green color of the wall and the light filtering in from outside on the left, casting elongated, ovular white shapes diagonally onto the dirt floor of the room. Do you notice how the lines created by the walls, floor, and ceiling are all perpendicular or parallel to each other? This creates symmetry and balance. Now let's think about the room in this photograph. Does this space remind you of anything you've seen before? If so, what do you see that makes you say that? What kind of feeling or mood does this photograph evoke? Feel free to pause the video again here. Now that we've spent some time thinking about the aesthetic qualities of this work, or its appearance, let's dive into a bit of context. Silencio Conoreo is one of 40 images in Juan Manuel Echeverria's Silencio series, which he began in 2010 and continues today. The series captures abandoned schoolhouses throughout Los Montes de Maria, a mountainous region in northeastern Colombia that has been heavily impacted by ongoing conflict. How does this context change your initial perception of Silencio Conoreo? When you look at it now, do you see the elements of a schoolhouse? Does this space remind you of any that you've seen or been in before? How is it the same? How is it different? Juan Manuel Echeverria was born in Medellin, Colombia in 1947. Before he became a photographer, Juan Manuel Echeverria was a fiction author who was fascinated by escaping the real world through imagination. He was inspired by artists in New York to try his hand at photography, and he became very interested in documenting the history and present of his home country, Colombia. In much of his work, he centers the stories of witnesses and survivors of the conflict there, bringing to light a situation that is often contained to the country and that many people outside of it are unaware of. How might you tell a story using this photograph? How might you indicate the presence of human beings while highlighting their absence? Think about how Juan Manuel Echeverria evokes emotion with this work. We can't see any people or expressions, so how might we interpret a mood when it isn't directly shown or explained to us? Think about how you might tell a story with no characters. How might you tell the story of an abandoned place? Thank you so much for joining me to discuss Silencio Conoreo by Juan Manuel Echeverria. We hope you've enjoyed this Writer's Eye Spotlight Talk please reach out to the Education Department with any questions or feedback. Our email is museumoutreach at virginia.edu.